Hello everyone, I'm your host today, Danny. We are very excited to show you our new product today. Uh, this is our product manager, John. Hi everyone, I'm John. Okay, leave your comments below and we will get back to you. And this product is very special and it's founded by Kickstarter. Yes. Our first time to put a good idea on Kickstarter and then to be founded by um, our backers there. Mm -hmm. All right, first thing first, let's dive into features. And John will start off with the agenda today. Okay, this is our agenda today. We're going to show you uh, why Mustang 100 is born. And, uh, and I want to show you Mustang 200 is the best platform for software developer. And uh, how to use QTS Lite to drive Mustang 200. The last one is we want to you uh, introduce about the hardware, hardware of Mustang 200, and uh, we are going to do unboxing and uh, installation. Yeah, yes, and uh, Danny, do you know um, the, about anything about the big data? I do know a little. I would say that uh, big data and data collection are more, uh, more and more important nowadays due to the uh, applications of IoT. Yes. We see a lot of uh, DMAS, especially in uh, CPU loading nowadays, just because mm -hmm. um, it has to process a lot of uh, data. Yes. And then uh, the question is, are we able to upgrade our current, uh, our existing service, uh, given the same limited space? About this question, you know, there are some big technology comp company like Google, Facebook, Amazon, or like uh, uh, Yahoo. Okay, only they, the, this kind of big co company can build up their big data center to increase their computing power and the storage space. Uh, of course, if you have enough space, you can buy more servers. Okay, but if you don't have enough uh, space, I think to get some accelerator card and uh, create a high density computing environment is the best choice. Mm -hmm. So, do you know anything about uh, accelerator cards? Um, I do know actually. Really? Um, yeah, there are actually uh, three types of cards mm -hmm. to accelerate service. Yes. First one is GPU, GPU, FPGA, FPGA. and CPU. Yeah, yeah. GPU is used to uh, increase the performance of graphic applications, for example, mm -hmm. uh, feed, uh, gaming, uh, mm -hmm. video games. And FPGA is programmable for um, specific tasks. Mm -hmm. The last one, CPU, is really common for everyone, and then it's based on a x86 structure, which is integrated with uh, GPU. And you can imagine it's a combination of both uh, CPU and GPU. Oh, impressive. Yes, you're right. So here's a com comparison table between uh, GPU, FPGA, and the CPU. So we have four items to compare. The first one is about a multiple uh, application or multiple tasking. And second one is uh, power consumption. And then about a software development time. The last one is uh, the most important things, virtual machine. Okay, uh, GPU and FPGA, they are, they are designed like for a certain uh, application. And uh, they are only like, a, they can do single application and single ta task at the same time. But a CPU architecture, we use a x86 architecture so uh, it is extre extremely versatile and uh, you can do multitasking okay this is the benefit of a uh, cpu accelerator cards and uh, the second one we want to compare is about power consumption the higher and high-end gpu card is around more than 200 watt and about the FPGA card, the power consumption is around 100 to 
uh, 200 watt. The lowest uh, is a CPU card. Its uh, power consumption is only 100 watt. Okay. And uh, the third one we want to compare is about uh, development development time, because uh, we use a uh, x86 for a long time. We have a lot of software developer kit or developer tool, so we can easily to design a software by uh, CPU accelerator card. But for the GPU and the FPGA, there are few. Uh, debug tool or pro uh, software so it's a, uh, if you want to use a GPU or FPGA accelerator car you have to take more time to create your uh, applications and uh, the last one is about a virtual machine so in CPU uh, Intel CPU it can support vir uh, virtualization technology so we use Intel CPU and we can create a virtual machine but uh, for GPU or FPGA they don't have this kind of functions okay and uh, next okay so what is so special about our Mustang 200 what makes it stand out Mm -hmm. um, from other products yeah okay according to the, the comparison table you no know, uh, CPU accelerator card is flexible and uh, cost e effective and uh, easy to use because we you uh, we can uh, apply the x86 architecture so therefore Mustang 200 is the first accelerator card that we provide Okay. Yes. And we also see both IEI and QNAP printed mm -hmm. there. Uh, what is this coming from? Oh, okay. So uh, I think I, I will show you the first one is uh, our uh, block diagram of Mustang 200. Okay. First, uh, uh, here you can see that there are two CPU, Intel Core i7 ULT CPU. So there are two CPU. Each CPU has its own memories, storage, and the Tenji Ethernet. So through the Tenji Ethernet, you can see the, the in the bottom there's a PCIe Golden Finger. So we use the Golden Finger to connect uh, the here is a PCI switch. Then we connect to the other Tenji Ethernet. So we use the Tenji Ethernet to connect, to communicate with the microserver, the yellow part of this microserver. So you can see there are two microserver in this card. And then about you mentioned about a QT, QNAP, QTS. QTS is a, we pre-install the QTS light in Mustang 200. So it can do so many things. Then after that, uh, uh, later I will introduce more. Okay, and uh, the next slide it shows. I as I mentioned, there are two microservers with Tenji Ethernet. Okay, so you can imagine that we create a accelerator card, and uh, we uh, we. Uh, become two server okay we use like two server become one aiding car Be and uh, besides we be because we uh, pre-install QTS light okay you can imagine there are two QTS uh, QNAP NAS in one card in one card okay so then this is our uh, Mustang 200 key feature. The first one we want to uh, show you is a Tenji Ethernet based computing node. So in the broad diagram, you can see the Tenji Ethernet over there. So we can uh, use the Tenji Ethernet to access the, our uh, accelerator card and support this decentralized computing architecture and uh, the second is about a perfect in integrated Q 
QTS Lite, in, uh, QTS Lite provides flexible and uh, secure development uh, environment. The third one is about the virtualization technology. Virtual machine and the container is supported by Mustang 200. And uh, Mustang 200, it fits uh, standard servers because of our uh, uh, car is uh, compared with uh, PCI by 4, by 8, and by 16. So we can increase the power com uh, computing power without any change or adding any servers to achieve a high density computing and lower the total cost. Okay. Yes. Okay, there are a lot of features in uh, hardware we have covered mm -hmm. overall, also a little bit of uh, software. The question I'm sure that a lot of people would like to know is, mm -hmm. is Mustang 200 ready to use out of the box or mm -hmm. it actually required further development before you use it? Yes, as I mentioned in the agenda, um, Mustang 200 is the best platform for application developer. Okay, uh, you can see this uh, golden triangle. You can see uh, IEI hardware platform, QNET software platform, and the U application development. So it means uh, IEI cross QNET, Mustang 200 is the best platform because uh, IEI we already uh, we has already focused on uh, industrial PC for 10, 20 years and we can provide a stable and a durable hardware platform. Okay, and the QTS, about Q, uh, QNAP, QNAP can uh, provide QTS Lite, which, can, which is divided from open source Linux and support virtualization technology. And it provides a secure friends, friends flexible and uh, friendly software platform combine the uh, IEI hardware and uh, combine with uh, QNET software uh, Mustang 200 is the perfect platform for you to save your effort and uh, time on uh, application development Mustang 200 as a product needs to develop to your bespoke solutions based on we just said QDS Lite. But what is QDS Lite? Can you give us a solid idea of mm -hmm. uh, QDS Lite? Okay. So uh, QDS Lite, I think um, we can use uh, QDS Lite to accelerate right away because QDS Lite provides three ways to drive Mustang 200 accelerated cars. And uh, it also provides seven bodyguards to ensure information, information security and uh, data protection. So about a three way to drive a uh, Mustang 200. There are a uh, virtualization station and a container station. And the, the last one is a uh, Mustang 200 app, QPKG development, okay? Let's, let me uh, introduce about uh, this is three words. Okay, the first one is uh, virtualization stations. So you, with this uh, virtualization station, you can create a virtual mach machine in Mustang 200. So for example, you can create one or two or three virtual machine in uh, Mustang 200 to uh, deal with different kinds of application. Okay, and um, our virtualization station can support, you can see this picture, Unix, Windows, Linux, and Android. Okay, we can complete uh, software virtualization solution. Okay, so uh, with, the, with it, you can run in your existing uh, software uh, application. For example, you, uh, if you uh, you have a server to deal with like a uh, mail servers, okay, you can create a virtual machine in Mustang 200 and run in the mail server, 
it must send 200 okay this is a virtualization station next one is a container station container station container is a lightweight Linux based OS okay so uh, running the container you don't need to uh, create a different operating system only one uh, in a host OS you can create different kind of uh, container so that's why we call it as a lightweight uh, Linux based OS so and uh, it is easy uh, deployment and uh, portable and uh, efficiency okay and uh, our container station also uh, support Docker Hub App Store so you can download some uh, application in Docker Hub App Store to use okay so with this technology you can design your own container and uh, running on Mustang 200 Okay, and uh, the last one is uh, Mustang 200 app, QPKG development. So we, we can, uh, you can uh, package your own application into QPKG. So what is that mean? Uh, we can uh, create two kinds of apps. One is uh, running on the Mustang 200. The other kinds is uh, running on your app or your cell phone or your PC. So uh, if you uh, let me um, uh, running on the Mustang 200, you can follow uh, our QP KG rule to create or design your application. Okay, then you can run it on our Mustang 200. And uh, the second one is uh, you can. Uh, design some apps in your uh, cell phone and uh, PC to uh, manage or access the file or manage the, your application uh, in Mustang 200 okay that, that is, uh, this three is a uh, three way to uh, drive Mustang 200 accelerator car yes and uh, there are three bodyguards to ensure the your information uh, security and the data protection so there uh, the uh, seven bodyguards are network access uh, account management and the da data transport data encryption antivirus and uh, data backup the last one is snapshot okay yes Mm -hmm. Okay, it was a lot of information for us to sink in. To help us understand better, I know John has application diagrams to show us, such as uh, transcoding, mm -hmm. uh, artificial intelligence, and facial recognition. Yes. We can wait to see those. Okay, um, if we're talking about uh, application, okay, here. The first one I want to introduce uh, is uh, video transcoding. You can see a lot of camera in the street, in the office, factory, hospital, even even the Hollywood. For what kind of application? Like uh, for uh, traffic monitoring, uh, manufacturing, for like uh, medical researching, security or entertainment. Everywhere camera is everywhere. So besides uh, the, about uh, the resolution of the camera is getting big, uh, higher and higher. It's from 1K, 2K, 4K, and uh, in the future you can, you can see the 8K resolution. So before we, like, we, we would preview the videos, before we preview the videos or restore the videos or analyze the videos or broadcast the videos, we have to uh, transcode the videos into uh, like a lower resolution or different kinds of uh, format. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, uh, we create uh, the first uh, application in Mustang 200 is MVT. MVT means uh, Mustang 200 video transcoding. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So after transcoding, we can uh, use these v videos, video files to other application. For example, we can use this file to do like a uh, face uh, analysis, face analysis, or video encryption, decryption, or car car plate uh, analysis. Okay, and uh, we can do more. We can do uh, like a higher technology application. For example, like a DNA analysis, big data analysis, or machine learning, even AI, the most popular the, or most important in the in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, in the other in the other hand, uh, Mustang two hundred is a per perfect to uh, fog or edge computing and the private cloud. Okay. Uh, the Mustang uh, must 200 can be a deployer, uh, part of a, a Ford or edge computing solution. So edge computing needs a more and a more computing power. So you can use a uh, Mustang 200 to aid in the computing easily. Be, uh, and uh, before the transfer about the fog computing. Before you uh, transfer your data to public cloud, uh, using Mustang 200 to pre-process the data, you can save a, a lot of uh, network bandwidth or storage fees a lot. Yeah. So uh, and uh, the last one is for like a uh, private cloud. About a private cloud. Um, because a lot of people they are suffering from like a public cloud. You know, public cloud is very convenient, but uh, uh, the charge of the public uh, cloud is very expensive, like uh, AWS or Azure. So if you ha and uh, if you have some uh, mm, like uh, confidential data or confidential. Uh, information you don't want to put the, this important data or in, information in public cloud I think a uh, pri uh, private cloud would be a best choice mm -hmm. okay with Mustang 200 you can create a private uh, cloud environment then uh, move your application from the public cloud to private cloud and uh, then you can save your money and uh, keep your privacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, the next uh, is about the uh, architecture. So you can see this picture. Uh, in in this uh, system, there are three uh, Mustang two hundred inside the server, and uh, each Mustang two hundred. Uh, in charge of different kind of uh, application. So it is uh, must ten two hundred is uh, intelligent, versatile, dense uh, computing accelerated car. So besides of this, uh, we can also do like a cluster or HA function or like a low balance function mm -hmm. with must ten two hundred. Okay, now we are going to our uh, hands-on session. Yes, hands-on session. Okay, you can see uh, here, there's a Mustang 200 box here. So, uh, before I uh, do the unboxing and installation, I want to introduce a Mustang 200 motherboard because okay. there are some secret inside. Okay, so uh, you can see, the, okay, I already mentioned that there are two CPU memory for or the 10 g Ethernet and uh, NVMe slot. So uh, you can see there are some different things in this page. Mother, uh, micro HDMI here mm. is one and the other is here. So each CPU has its own display, micro okay. HDMI, and uh, two U USB 2.0. Here, two USB, two point zero. Okay. 
Okay, each CPU has two CPU. So you can use a micro HDMI and the USB okay. to develop your software mm. because you uh, the uh, display and the control is very important for mm. uh, develop, right? Okay, and uh, the most important thing is uh, we have a power input. So uh, when you install uh, the Mustang 200, you have the additional power for this car. So the power input will be a uh, 12 volt PCIe 6 pin. This, this is a standard power input. And uh, the current will be 10 amp. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's do the um, unboxing. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before the unboxing, I will show you the explode the drawing. Okay. Okay, explode the drawing, uh, there are four parts. The first part is thermal module. Uh, yes, uh, including the uh, cover and the uh, heat sink and the fans. Okay, and the IO bracket. There's a, a seven segment display here. Seven segment display can show you the like uh, the car number or the debug code. It can help you to develop mm -hmm. software. And uh, the major one is of course motherboard including motherboard, uh, PCB, PCPU, memory, 10 g Ethernet, IC, HDMI, and USB. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one is button thermal module. This button thermal module is help you to spread the heat of the uh, NVMe because uh, the NVMe will generate uh, the huge uh, heat. Okay, okay. Let's do the unboxing and the installation. Okay. Okay. Here you can see the box of a uh, Mustang two hundred here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it. Okay. So we have a uh, full protection of a uh, Mustang two hundred. You go the spawns. Okay. Out. Thank you. And then inside you can see a uh, accessory. This one is a uh, PCIe power input adapter. So if your system doesn't have this kind of power input, you can use this uh, adapter. Okay. Okay. So this is our Mustang two hundred. Okay. You can see that the other side. The thick is a uh, two slot B size. Okay, so if you want to install the uh, Mustang two hundred, you have to re uh, reserve two slot. Okay. Space. Okay. 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 This is a uh, PCI Golden Finger. So, uh, we use a uh, PCI by four signal. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can slot in the uh, PCI by four, by eight, even by sixteen. Okay. Okay. So let's do the installation. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a very important thing before we do the installation. So please wear the anti-static device, like anti-static strip and uh, remove the power cable okay do these two things that will protect you and the your server okay now we are doing a uh, uh, installation this server is a uh, rec uh, 4200 there are already 5 pieces of Mustang inside as I mentioned uh, there are uh, Mustang 200 occupied two uh, slots. So we have to re reserve two slots for Mustang 200. Okay, about the power consumption, Mustang 200 is around uh, 120 watts. 
So you, if you want to insert six, must stand two hundred. You have to uh, prepare a powerful power supply. Okay, then we ins insert the Mustang 200 here. Okay, it's down. Uh, we are going to uh, face the screw. There are two screws. Alright. One and then two. And about the PCIe cable. Now we are plugged in the PCIe cable. The PCI cable is 12 volt. We suggest to use a 12 volt and a 10 amp. Okay, it's easy, very easy to get a computing power. You just insert a Mustang 200. So you can decide how many Mustang 200 that you want to install. All right. Okay, let's back to the uh, uh, presentation. So, the last one I want to say is, uh, you know, from the local acceleration to fog computing, from the video transcoding to uh, AI. No, Mustang 200 can do so much more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you are a pers uh, professional software provider or uh, system integrator, you are seeking a great platform to integrate your software application as a solution. As a solution, Mustang Two Hundred is a definitely your best choice. All right. All right. So this is Mustang Two Hundred. You know, we we call it as a intelligent, versatile, dense computing accelerator. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is all my my presentation. Okay. okay. Thank you, John. So from uh, John's presentation, I would say um, virtualization station that allows you to open your existing operation system and apps. Yes. That's all right. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, this say uh, container station enables you to run apps individually and in small footprint. Good. Okay, so um, for developers or any uh, anyone who is interested in that, they can actually develop their own apps based on uh, QTS Lite. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then uh, on the other hand, um, those can be easily uh, developed in uh, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, facial recognitions, yes. or even transcoding. Okay, so we actually have something more next week. So coming up next week, we are going to have our product manager yes. to uh, introduce QTS Lite in details. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have our software engineers to uh, she lights on the uh, SDI, uh, SDK, API, and develop uh, environment. And um, also we're going to demo a uh, live transcoding for you guys to understand how it works and mm -hmm. also the uh, QVR player. So stay tuned with us. Yeah. Thank you for your watching. Okay, thank you guys.